Welcome back, everybody. So let's play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time I left off, we beat this rune. We're about to fight the giant Dodongo dude thing boss. And I finally switched the buttons over to the D pad for the C pad rather than having them on the right analog stick, which was really fucking awesome. It made me feel really good about myself. So just in case you really don't have any fucking bombs, it's gonna give you it right here. You can just fucking put it there. Look at that. I fucking. It's a whole new. Uh, actually, before we do this best, but I kind of want to say. The chance doesn't mean dying are very high, but fuck shit. I don't care. Link's just like, what the f fuck? Nigga, please. Dong was like, what you think I was gonna look like, motherfucker? Link's like, not like that, fool. King to Dongo, yeah, I was right. Um, I don't have a shield, so I'm kind of screwed on that aspect. I don't really think you need one for this battle, anyways. Just kind of got a block. Oh, jeez. He's gonna roll now. You just kind of gotta avoid him. Um, I don't really think you can do that without a shield, can you? Well, fuck me. Anyways, he's gonna do that. So you just grab a bomb. Go up to him. And throw it in there. Okay, or you don't, you get the fuck out of the way. Or it will fucking defy the laws of physics and go around the corner. Whatever. Alright, go up to him. There, he ate it this time. So you wanna go up to him? Fucking pop a cap in your ass. Oh shit, that Negro. Fucking four little b indigestion problems and four little cuts to the face, and he dies. And it was all done by a kid. Ganondorf, you have really bad fucking poor choice in dinosaurs. I'll be quite frank with you on that one. That he's giving you the rock sign. He's like, yeah, rock out, brothers. With, you know, with like the index finger and the ring finger out. And the thumb on the inside and stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, grab that. Look at that, we're already up to five hearts. We haven't even got any, like, fucking Argentine yet. We'll do that in, like, another episode. We'll just fucking grab all of them. You know? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That must hurt. Link's like, whoa, where the fuck is my rock? And then... Darius is like, I have big rock for you. Link's like, ah, Jesus. It's Daruna, not Darius. 
eat me, Daruna. Well done. Thank to you, he can once again eat the delicious rock from the Dongo Cavern until our stomach burst. Ooga Booga, this is a really stupid voice. What a wild adventure. It'll make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. Now in that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Garudu thief, Ganondorf. Arr. Where have I heard that name before? He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. I like doing that when like the vacuum is on. Oh, I'll hum a song. So like the vacuum is like, and I'll be like, hmm. And it'll be like, it's so awesome. I'm, I don't think I'm the only one that does that. You got the rock on, brother. Yeah! What is this, episode 9? You've tamed the Gorons, Ruby. Spirit of Stone and Fire passed down by the Gorons. Yeah, that's episode 9, and we've beaten this. You don't know what he means by Swan Brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Things like, what the fuck are they gonna do to me? Oh, Jesus! You did great. Let us hug you. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Ah! We will only crush your bones. Where are you going, pal? Things like ah! they're like zombies. They're like brown brains. They just magically disappear. You know. All right. Where to go next? Where to go next? Well, ladies and gentlemen. Um. I actually kind of want to break this first. Suck it, bitch. Can we even get this? We can't even get this. Why am I doing all this bullshit? I can't even get that. For Christ's sake, I'm retarded. Um. Alright, so we'll just go over here again. Uh, next place to go is Zora's Domain, but I, I don't really think you need an invitation. I think you just kind of... Pretty sure you just kind of go there. Yeah. So I guess for the rest of this episode, I'll just kind of walk over there. It's not very long. It's like right next to this place. You just kind of fall the river. And then... Um... I don't know. We'll just kind of do that. And then... I suppose I'll see you guys... I mean, I'm probably going to edit these last three videos. Probably what I'm going to do. And then after that, I'm probably going to record some more while I'm uploading. Well, no, that's not true. When I, when I like, here's the process. I record the, uh, because I do this in bursts, so I record three videos. And then I process, like, it's, it's all one big video when you record it, right? So you just kind of have to, you know, you do that. And then, um, you put it in, uh, the editor. I use Camtasia Studio. You put that in there. And then, it will... You just kind of cut off the rest of the video after, like, the first episode is done. So it's usually, like, in 15-minute intervals. Not this time, though, because for some reason I decided to cut them short. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you do. Woohoo! Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. Zora Suharu's royal family by protecting this water source. Oh, oh. The door will not open up for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the hoop. See you later, Gay Pora. Off, Gay Pora. Off with you. 
So pretty much what I do is I put it the file in, and then I edit the first video to but how the fuck I need to edit it, you know. And that's really all you have to do. This is pretty easy right here, you just kind of jump on over. You just kind of jump on over, I guess. What the fuck are you supposed to do? That's kind of like fucking... Shit, Christ's sake! How do you do this? Give me your seeds. <laughs> I shall rule the world with the seeds. I think you can jump right here. Yeah, alright. With a heart piece. I don't really know why I'm doing this. When I cut out, it's just gonna kind of be... You know, I'm gonna be back in Link's little fucking hut. I don't know, it's just kind of for fun right now. I'm just kind of... I'm showing off the area. You know? You know, ladies? I'm showing the goods. Hey. Um... Can't really get that until you have the hover boots. Or grappling hook. Grab him, hook, hook shot, hook shot, I'm say hook shot, fuck me. Oh, um. Hmm. Hmm. That's really all this area is, it's pretty fucking short. There's not really much to it. Just gonna walk around. And I guess I could just kinda do a save state and just kinda load that video so that way I won't have to walk all the way back here. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Alright, so next time, everybody. Oh, isn't that just fucking beautiful? Uh, shit. Next time. On Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Zelda Ocarina of Flute. The Zelda Flute of Ocarina of Melodies of Storms. We will take on the mighty Zora's Domain. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, everybody.